Today, I'm going to talk about the big shift that is changing the world, the human side of the web. It is about adaptation, courage, changes, innovation, and digital Darwinism. Why? Because the world is changing, the web is changing, and we have to change. And how I realized it? It all started when I did my way and decided to drop the college. My mom was very upset about it, but uh, I did it because I couldn't find a value in it. It was like a car with a handbrake on. So I was very young, and I decided to follow my dad's dream, working in his company for, and his team for eight long years. I added my value into projects like electric cars, engines, and I even uh, decided to build a racing simulator for the video games. <laughs> I learned how to deal with big companies, important people, but something slowly began to dawn on me, my real passion for web and digital technologies. But not in a cold way, made of databases, codes, algorithms, I was interested in how digital solutions can uh, help people to be more connected and enhance humans' relations. I even developed a small project called GM to be better in touch with my friends, a place where we can put photos, um, uh, events, contents, thoughts, something like a, a little Facebook, before Facebook. But then the big, social network, the big blue social network came, and it was more than I wanted to do. It was, I was uh, so happy about it, because it did a very excellent job. Me and my friends were excited to use such a powerful tool for our personal purpose, and uh, we were addicted. We still are. <laughs> Very soon, I started, uh, at the time, very soon I started to realize that these human logics were very powerful also for businesses', businesses purpose. Something like how to make the brands more human. Something like uh, I did with the GM project. And that that's was my dream. I decided to quit from a comfort situation, leaving my dad's company, to pursue my own dream. And it wasn't easy, because, especially in Italy, it was quite hard to, to realize it and to find the answers, because TV and uh, traditional media here are very powerful and strong. So I asked myself many times, am I mad? Some friends and partners told me, yes, you are. And is my intuition right, or where I can find all these answers? The answer of all my doubts was Silicon Valley in California. So I took a flight, and there I had an enlightening experience, and a lot of fun. I read books, improved my English, surfed, uh, had parties, <laughs> and met remarkable people who helped me to find the answers. I realized that brands are going to become more human, and what I learned there was, was price, priceless, so powerful that even in the country I love, Italy, they, they, cannot, they can't avoid it, because it's a change that involves the world. So I came back to Italy, and I, started, apply, I applied what I learned starting a social media division in my friend's company from zero. And it worked. We got top clients. I became a guru in this field, a teacher also in, in prestigious universities. And my mom now is happier. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened and what is happening? How we came to this? It is all about innovation and simplicity. And to understand this, we have to understand first the history of the web, which could be divided in three decades. The 90s, 
less people connected, less website, huge players like, like big portals were the main actors and they were trying to give all the information and services they could. Then, 2000, more people connected, more websites, and more and more information. So we needed a great search engine to find what we wanted. And Google did an excellent job. But still, it was, it was still difficult to create content. We had to study code and SEO, search engine optimization. Today we are in the decade of the 2010. We still have big portals. We, have, we still have search engines. But there are a lot more people connected, a billions just in Facebook. We use smart devices to be connected everywhere, even when we are in the bathroom, isn't it? <laughs> and it's very easy to create content. Even your grandma can do it. Even the dumb girl next door can do it. Sometimes they even post too much or send you infinite requests for their so favorite social games. True or true? <laughs> Innovation and simplicity help us to be more connected, to create, find, and receive information. So what's the big deal? Technology, like social, mobile, real time, is changing the world so fast. The world, the world is evolving faster than your company can adapt. Remember it. Today's leading companies are already obsolete if they stop to innovate today. If you th think about it, in 10 years, 40% 40 40 of the Fortune 500 was replaced. And there is a very good quote in a book that I really recommend. It's called Social Nomics. The author says that the ROI, the return on the, of investment of social media, is that your business will still exist in the, in the next five years. And to survive in this fast world, we also have to understand that we are human, after all. The social decade we are just entered is not only faster, it's also more human, and it, and it involves human logics like empathy, engagement, listening, and passion. Because we are not just only customers, we are part of the brand. And being part of the brand means that the brands are becoming more human. And behind companies, there are people. Let me tell you a story. When I was in Silicon Valley, I tried to attend an, um, an Apple keynote event. I waited outside the Moscone Center in San Francisco, and I saw my guru, Steve Jobs, but I couldn't enter. Then I started a conversation with a photographer, and suddenly a man I already saw before joined us. It was Eric Schmidt, the former CEO of Google. I was so excited. He, he's the responsible of billions of earnings a year in Google. He just came, and we talked about the event, about technology and politics, and he was so, so calm and human, like a very common person. Sometimes we think that big companies are unreachable, and this, this experience taught me a lesson. Companies are made of people, and behind big choices, there are people. So we have to think out of the box. Nowadays, we, as users or customers, are giving a more precise digital picture of ourselves. What does it mean? It's our trace on the web. Basically, who we are, that's me, what I like, and who are in our networks. And every day, we are making this picture more clear. Each, with, uh, each content we post, photos, comments, likes, uh, connections with friends or followers, 
these are all details of this picture. And we are making this picture more clear to us, to our friends, and to the World Wide Web community. People inside our network became our new testimonials and influenced our choices or of what we want to read, what we want to say, what we want to buy or eat. And this is a good thing. Let me give you an example. Do we all have a geek friend who knows everything about tech gadgets, technologies? Do we? Yeah. Isn't it better to receive an advice, a good advice from him for the next smartphone you want to buy, instead of an advice of a famous soccer player? I think way better. Who agree? Brands also are more respectful. Think about it. Because they can understand users' preferences and stop bothering people outside their target. They are also more human because they talk, they interact and listen to you every day. This is amazing, isn't it? I can use also this element to discover new products, services. And if you think about the social ads, the advertising on the social networks, they sometimes are not just ads. Sometimes they are just stunning news. They make you discover new things. Even you, you, don't, you don't even know how to search for it. And our reactions always influence the choices of brands, our friends and followers. Okay, so what are, what are the benefits? There are huge benefits like the rocketing social organic growth of Pinterest in 2012. Can you see the graph? In just a few, mo few months, in the beginning of 2012, they have a rocket in growth, organic. Or even better, let's check the green graph. The social game called Treasure Isle by uh, the developer Zynga, they gained 4 million active users in just two days. I repeat, four million active users in just two days. All these users are 23 times more than the second we have in two days. And how it, it could be possible? Because smart projects like this involve users' networks and how it will impact the future. We have to think about the web like a planet, the green thing. And all these pictures, all the digital pictures, are like floating on the atmosphere, like a social layer on the web planet. And each project, each web project, can grab and manage this data to give us what? A real personal experience. And this is the future. This is what we are going to. Like, uh, let me give you three examples. Like um, social news, imagine a big portal with a lot of news. It can bring to the bottom the content I don't like, like politics, especially Italian politics, pop music, um, and bring to the top the, the, the things I like, startup news, technologies, electronic music, fun. And my friends can read, can see what I read, my comments, and join the conversation. Social shopping, also, I will see more technology stuff instead of female bags. They got it, but it's just more hidden to me. And my friends can see what products I liked and ask me for an advice. I think I know much more than a, a soccer player about smart devices, you remember? And social search is the last example. This is big, this is a huge thing. The search is changing, and imagine how powerful could be the search of Google combined with the data of Facebook. I can find what, I can discover what kind of music my friends like, or what music my customers love for my next spot. 
and there's a big word on it. Can you see how powerful is the human side of the web? Some people or can, and already, they are already getting benefits, huge benefits. And we have, to, we have two choices, adapt or die. We have to remember that we are human after all. We are made of passions and interactions. Our opinions, our thoughts, our contents are like gifts to the world, to the world, a trace for our friends and new generation. So let's share and connect more. Thank you all very much.